everybody, it's me, Lady Vivian. I'm here with my LA who is looking for cobble. He's not gonna find any because I'm not gonna make any more. I'm standing on the trail from Marigore to uh, Azure Bay. And this is the, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the story trail that goes up into the mountains and uh, comes to the cave where Darian saved the horse's life. Um, this is uh, in the middle of a scary birch forest. See, scary birch forest. And in the middle of this scary birch forest, there is a surprise. So I'm going to show you how to find it. So when you get to just to where the story is in the middle of the trail where they camped for the night, you leave the trail, go past the blobs of snow. On the right, you'll see torches and you'll see a couple lanterns and you will see a little piece of amethyst. This goes down to an amethyst geode. So if you have a geode and you don't want to ruin it, you can come down here and farm your crystals off of this one. So um, it goes down the stairs and then it goes down water drop isn't just a jump because um, I want you to be able to get back up it. It's very far down. And out the little opening down the stairs again. And you come out into, shut the gate, into the geode. So um, remember when you're harvesting in the geode that you want to use your silk pick, silk pick, and that will give you the clusters and you can get the clusters of every size by just making the crosshair exactly. See the square, the bounding box around the, the thing? Make sure that that's the only thing selected. If you select this block, you'll break it and we can never grow geodes on that block again. So once we break them, you can't get them back. You can harvest the, the um, buds at any size. So I think this is a medium one. And let's see, you can harvest the big clusters. Love the music. Uh, this is probably also medium. So yes, I need to find a large one. Uh, it's hard to tell what the size is. So the the lar the ones that are the clusters are the ones that have the like pointy top like that. So that's ones that you can tell those are done. They're not going to grow any bigger. The other ones will keep growing until they get that big. I think that's a large one. So um, when you've harvested uh, the ones you want, the torches on the on the um, scaffolding show which uh, tunnels go down. Come down to the floor, pick up your goodies. The floor has been evened out for you, and um, then you can see that you have the different things. So um, the this is a large one here. Where's another uh, cluster? There's a cluster. So when you want uh, the shards, the amethyst shards, that's when you take your amethyst clusters. And again, the big one and uh, the cluster and the large ones are the only ones that will give you any. Then you use your fortune pick and that'll give you the amethyst shards. Uh, you can use the amethyst shards to make an amethyst block. Like this. And um, amethyst blocks, when you break it with either Silk Touch or Fortune, just drop themselves. They don't go back into shards. Um, the shards can also be combined with glass to make the tinted glass that uh, light doesn't go through. Um, so here's the geode. Here's um, In here are shulker box materials, so you can make shulkers to take your things back. There's a reminder because I forget. So. Silk Touch for Clusters, Fortune for Shards, be careful of the Amethyst Bud Blocks, um, and there's an Ender Chest for you. The furnaces I use for um, repairing my silk pick, so I put my silk pick in there and pull out whatever I've put in the furnace, and it adds a little bit of repair to my silk pick. So if you um, want to bring with you some things to cook, uh, the furnace can help you repair your pick while you're in here. Uh, it's a great place to AFK. It's perfectly safe. There's a bed too if you want to sleep. Right now it's night, so we'll do that. And then you can um, get back to farming. So you can AFK here and they'll just continue growing. They actually grow pretty darn fast. The little ones, any size, all the sizes are fun for decoration. Um, they look great in the uh, 
in the um, armor stands. The big ones make great, uh, the clusters make great wings uh, for armor stand fairies. Um, and you can just have so much fun putting them all over the place. The little tiny ones are even cute uh, on things. And that as you saw in the, where, where we came down, they make uh, stair. they can make stairs. So we'll go back up that way. I go and find the exit, well, which is here. You're gonna go out the same way you came in, up the stairs, up the water. And uh, you can see if you alternate them with a solid block, uh, they make really nice, uh, easy stairs, the same as slabs. So that's kind of fun. This takes about 20 seconds to go up. So if you don't have um, aqua affinity or respiration, you may want a water potion if you're gonna come down here. I'm not sure how fast your air will run out without those things. But you can see they make stairs. You don't have to jump, you just walk up. So I've alternated a whole block with a, a thing here. Um, what was that slime? Oh, the LA is looking for me. Allies can't go in water, so. Don't take your alley down there. Well, there we go. This is our amethyst geode that you can come and AFK at and farm and get all of the crystals you need. I did put a mark on the wall in there, a, a sign where the original entrance is uh, that way to danger and adventure because it is a giant, lots of dark caves. So I've lit it up a bit, but you may, if you want an adventure and you want to go fight a bunch of bots, that's a good spot to do it. You can go right through the wall there where I put the sign. You'll see it when you're in the, in the geode room. Okay. Thanks for watching. Come get your amethyst if you need them or pretty soon you can just go to Azure Bay and buy all the amethyst you want. So you just easily purchase it. You don't need to go dig it yourself in AFK and wait and do all that labor. We've done it for you here in Azure Bay. I will see you soon, Lady Vivian, and I'm on the veil today. Bye! -bye.